This example is a very exciting one, uh, and there are similar ones, and that's to paint. The new thing is the painting is actually done physically simulating every uh, aspect of the painting, the brush, the paint, how they mix. Uh, and before powerful computers that people have in their homes now, uh, this was not possible, but now it is. Hi, I'm Bill Baxter with the XCG Application Incubations Group. And uh, we're here to tell you about Project Gustav today, which is what we've been working on. Uh, it's a realistic painting experience. So if you think about uh, painting programs, they've been around for a very long time. Um, but really, in some ways, they've just been a caricature of real painting. So if you think about real painting, it's very, very complex. You have uh, something like a brush with thousands of individual bristles that all deform. You load it with paint, and each one can interact with the complex texture of the canvas to create you know, really exciting and interesting uh, organic kind of forms on the canvas. And it's not really been possible to do that kind of thing until fairly recently because of the, the amount of computing power that's required to do that. So we've been working on, on algorithms that will let us do that on, uh, on current machines. So Nelson's going to show you a quick demo here. Hi, I'm Nelson Chu, also from the XCG group. So here is our application. It is currently running on the, uh, this um, affordable PC here. So we work out uh, to make it this uh, application run very well on this computer. And here I can show you with the latest uh, touch capabilities available on the PC, we now can show you this uh, very natural touch enabled finger painting like this. And you can, sh you can see I can smear the paint like this right on the screen, very rich color blending over, taking over place here. And this is really great fun for kids and everybody actually. Yeah, that's right. Even for uh, serious artists and designers, the, the 3D brush simulations we offer really give a lot of control over strokes that hasn't, that hasn't been uh, possible before. So we can take our 3D brush and come over here to the palette and uh, mix together some colors here. And we're not just creating a single color, we actually load the brush up here as you do this with a complex blend of colors so that uh, when you come over to paint on the canvas, you have this kind of rich uh, mixture of different colors with natural kind of streaks. So all these little simulation parameters are, are available to the artist to, to make their work kind of uh, more like the real thing.